Good Friday morning to you. I hope you're doing well today. I hope the Lord is blessing you in a rich, rich way. I'm looking today in the book of Lamentations, the writings of the lamentings of Jeremiah about the nation of Israel. In this chapter, chapter number three, verse number 21, he says this. He said, this I call to mind, therefore I have hope. So in other words, the man was in some element of a desperation, but yet what he thought about brought him hope. His meditations brought him hope. We have to understand that as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. That's what Solomon said in Proverbs. So it is important what you think about. It is important what you contrive in the mind because it oftentimes becomes reality in your own life. Uh, Job even said that in Job 3.25. He said, The things that I greatly feared have come unto me, that, that I was afraid of has come upon me. He said, in other words, I've been thinking about this a long time. I've been thinking about the fact that um, I, I was afraid of losing my, my family and my finances and my physical health. And he said, I've lost all three. Basically, he said, what I thought about, what I meditated on came to fruition in my life because I, I made it a priority to think about. But here, Jeremiah says this, I've been thinking about something. I've been recalling this to my mind over and over, but it was something I had hope in. What did he hope in? He said, it is of the Lord's mercies that we're not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Isn't that a great truth today? What a tremendous truth. I want to think about the fact today that I'm not consumed. I'm not in hell, nor am I going to hell because of the mercies of God. I'm not going to go under. I'm not going to be destroyed. No weapon formed against me is going to prosper because I am under the divine mercies of God. Let your mind and your heart rest upon that today. They're renewed every morning, and great is the faithfulness of God. I'll see you on tomorrow. God bless.